Rodgers. What should occur next, man? If you're Clarissa Shields, do you entertain possibly a rematch for another payday with a great fight with Savannah Marshall again? Or do you go over to the MMA? Because right now, you could probably say that there's not another big name out there. There's probably a lot of women who will step up and fight Clarissa Shields. But as far as making um, a lot of money and getting that monetary payday, it probably would be a rematch with Savannah or In the USA. go back to MMA. In the USA only. Don't go back over there. Mm. But um, I think that... Um, I think that the pay would dictate the next move. Um, but she, she's still talking about the PFL. She want to fight in the PFL. Right. Um, again. I think it's the name of the PFL. Mm-hmm. And I think she, I think she talking about having a child and everything, man. I think she want to uh, get okay. married. Is she not married already? Oh, yeah, yeah. She got a fiance. Yeah, she got a fiance. So I'm sure the, I'm like, sure the wedding is coming soon. She yeah. ran down her plan because she pushed her, she pushed her plans back because initially they want September the 3rd. But they went to the 10th. Cause she already had a had, had a year mapped out pretty much, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. For my family life, to the P, you know, so she want to get a PF, want to get that PFL payday, and it was you know about some family stuff. I don't know if it was a baby or, or marriage, it was something. But either way it go, man, I think the money would dictate what what what, what the next move is. And I think Savannah Marshall probably, um, she was talking about retiring, and Carissa, you know, told her that she probably should. She got a lot more left in the tank, and um, I think it depends, man. I think it all depends. You know, me personally, I, I don't really want her going up back to the PFL, but I'm not gonna knock nothing she do. Mm-hmm. Um, because she's that type of warrior, man. She she's she 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 just like that, you know. Right. Um go get the bag, baby. You gotta secure your bag, you gotta you gotta get yours. Like I say, she she had to get us a lot harder than a lot of people. She coming out of the Olympics with two back to back goals at like 17 years old. She got like, you know what I'm saying? No with no endorsements. So, you know, then coming from the humble background, man. She done had to get everything the hard way. So just salute to her now, man. And I hope she just enjoy everything that's coming to her, man. And just um, whatever she feels, you know, we behind it 100%, man. I know I'm behind it 100%. So. Yeah, man. I ain't going to lie, man. I think I, I hope, honestly, for Clarissa's sake, I would not be opposed, probably like most fans. i love to see him do it again, bro. i love to see him do it again. I'm actually kind of surprised. Uh, man, I think you you shared this with me that neither in none of the ladies' fights there was no rematch clauses, and and, and right. no in, in in neither fight the bomb garden the there or or in the Clarissa versus Savannah fight there was no rematch clause, which you would have thought we would have seen that because we see that a lot on the guy side when especially when it's a big unification fight like that. But <laughs> I, I love to see that only because for me personally. I like to see Clarissa Shields in the boxing ring. Like you said, yes. I know she wants to entertain the PFL and MMA, but for me, I love to see her box. And I do know that Savannah's probably the biggest name out there for her as far as helping her make that payday. But that may be wishful thinking, man. But we'll see, man. Like you said, who knows with Savannah Marshall? She may tap out and call it a good career. Um, you never know. But we'll see, we'll see soon what happens with both of those ladies. Yeah. No doubt.